So uh, this is the calculation I do for all of my patients with hyponatremia, and it's what I was talking about when I was talking about assessing the severity of SIAVH. So this is the electrolyte-free water clearance formula, and this will give us a sense of uh, how the patient is handling uh, water, which have the most dramatic effect on serum sodium when it's either high or low. So uh, first thing we do is we take a look at the urine and see how uh, rich in electrolytes it is compared to the serum. So you take the serum sodium plus potassium, you divide that by the serum sodium. That's the electrolyte content. We're actually most interested in the water content, so we'll take one minus that, multiply that by the urine volume, and that's what we'll get. So we can kind of plug and chug here. This patient has a low urine volume, 880 cc's, pretty typical of SIADH. The patient has a very high, remarkably high urine sodium, uh, pretty high urine potassium. You put those together and you get a number that's greater than the uh, serum sodium. And that doesn't happen all that often. And when it does, it's pretty wild. You get this crazy inversion. If you actually run through the calculation, what happens is that uh, this multiplier becomes a negative number. So that means that 880 cc's of urine uh, actually generates a negative 590 cc's of uh, electrolyte free water. And so what you got to understand is what does it mean to have a negative electrolyte free water? And what that means is that every time this patient makes 880 cc's of urine, uh, they don't get rid of any electrolyte free water. In fact, her kidneys do her the disservice of actually making more electrolyte-free water, further diluting her serum sodium. And the reality also is that if you're trying to get her under, try to get her water intake below this, you need to count this 590 cc's as, against her, you know, whatever, 1.2 1, 1 liter or 1.5 liter of fluid restriction that you put the patient under. And it makes it just nearly impossible to get to uh, negative water balance.